Hey guys, welcome back for another video on this channel and this will be another update on the FTMO project where I trade five different challenges at the same time right now. So uh, I will have a new structure for vi videos like this and I plan to make a video like this every single day, at least in the beginning. And what I want to do is I want to show you the actual graphs of one account and then afterwards I will show you the FTMO metrics so you can directly see what the trading was in this specific day or time period and then how it looks in the FTMO metrics. So let's start with this first account. This is a FTMO account uh, which is a 100k challenge and here I trade in GBP US dollar and US dollar Japanese yen and we had two trades in GBP US dollar yesterday we had one losing trade which um, yeah lost some money uh, 113 US dollar lost yesterday here and then in the USD Japanese yen we had a huge winning trade which made 630 US dollars. So in total there was a profit of about 0.5% which is great. Especially um, like the trading day yesterday was really good for this specific strategy because it is a range breakout strategy which means that the range in the beginning of the day which is created will then uh, yeah, see a breakout at some point and then we just trade into this direction and this worked out just perfectly in US dollar Japanese yen. Also the, um, the close was kind of perfect, could have been a little bit uh, lower of course, but this is still really, really good. And in GBPUS dollar, we actually also saw a very nice uh, breakout candle, but unfortunately this candle was still in the time range, which is why the trade was not profitable in this account. But we will see in a second that um, for two other accounts where trade is slightly different or modified range, this was also very, very good trade in GBPUS dollar. But first of all, let's have a look at the metrics here. So let me get this from my second screen here. <clears throat> this is the metrics of this FTMO account. So you can see uh, at a peak it was at yeah almost 3.7% in profit and right now it's going, it's coming back to a profit of only, yeah, I think this is not really updated. We are in profit, yeah, 700 almost 800 USD right now. All the objectives are of course still valid, none of the rules are uh, violated yet. And yeah, if we have a look at maybe the symbols, we can see USD Japanese Yen is still performing way better than GBP US dollar. And this was also the case yesterday. So now let's have a look at the next account. And here we can see very beautifully what I explained before. Here we have the same strategy basically, slightly modified. We do have a break even stop and we have a different range. So the range in GBP US dollar is slightly different, slightly modified. Here we stop the range one hour earlier, which is why we were able to get into this trade. So in this account, we had two profitable trades and both of them made a really, really huge uh, profit. Um, uh, USD Japanese Yen made like 0.64% and GBP US dollar 0.5%, which means that just yesterday, the profit on this account was over 1%, which is really, really, really good. And yeah, this is why we can also have a look at the metrics here and see that this account is doing way better than the first account that I showed you. And actually, the accounts are traded really, really similar. So you can see just slight modifications in the inputs, like changing the range time by one hour or also using a break-even stop, which is what we do in this smaller account, it can have a really tremendous impact on the, um, on the overall performance. Even though this was still doing way better one or two weeks ago when it was uh, up almost 6%, it's now again up, um, I think, 0. Point, yeah, nearly 0.5%, uh, sorry, 5%, which is, which is great. And yeah, I trade this challenge already for nearly two month now. All of the objectives are of course still intact and here are some statistics if you're interested just pause the video. And then if we have a look at the symbols we can see that also a GPUS dollar is far better with these settings in the period tested here compared to the account that I showed you before. So yeah, now the question might be why I do not trade these settings here in every account and the simple answer is because only because it worked better in the last two months doesn't, doesn't mean it has to be like this um, yeah, for the next two months. Then we will have uh, this account. It's also a 10K account. It's completely the same as the account that I showed you before with just one modification. Here I trade 0.1 lot. 
for every single trade. So um, everything else is the same, the range is the same, the break-even stop is also used, but I trade 0.1 loss for every single trade. And also this has an uh, impact on the performance. So you can see the performance here is a little bit flatter, like this uh, chart. Um, also, yeah, we can see the uh, overall profit is not as big as in the other account because like 0.1 is usually smaller than what the calculated lot size of 0.5 percent which would be what I trade in the other accounts. Um, but yeah, if we have a look at the symbols, this is really interesting because with 0.1 lots, GBP US dollar is actually also profitable in this account. So yeah, these minor changes they can all have an impact on the account's performance, and this is why I trade multiple projects here right now. At the same time, in total, five different challenges to just see different outcomes of different settings or strategies. Then let's head to the next um, uh, MetaTrader terminal. This is another challenge, another project that I have where I trade different stocks and I only go long because I want to benefit from an increasing economy. Unfortunately, we had two losing trades here yesterday in Amazon and Meta. And yeah, right now, oh, this made a loss of 0.75%. And it means that um, the count is coming back a little bit if we have a look at the metrics, but it's still in a, in a good spot, I would say, uh, really close to the high. And uh, yeah, we can have a look at, of course, at the objectives, still everything's doing great. Here, profit factor is really good in this account, actually. And if we have a look at the symbols, we can see that um, normally Amazon and Meta are doing great, it's just the last day and this is normal and Tesla is the one who is <laughs> dragging down the performance a bit but on the other hand Apple is generating a lot of profits. So yeah, this is great if you trade multiple stocks, some of them will go good, some of them will drag the performance down a little bit but that's the power of a portfolio where uh, you have a combined performance that should then be profitable in the end. And, and then uh, last but not least, we have this account, which was a really, really good profit yesterday. We had two trades in this account. In this account, I trade two uh, major stock indices, the German stock index and the US index. And here we had a really, really good trade in the US index, which generated like, um, yeah, I think around 0.7%. Let's have a look at the history here. Uh, yeah, 0.8 actually, and also in the German index, we had a really small profit of 0.03%. So in the metrics, it looks like this. Um, this account, I don't trade this account for a long time, just 10 trading days so far. So you can see not a lot is going on here, but it's a profit again. It was um, a little bit negative before, so it's still great that the market was able to recover. Overall, this week is doing really good so far in the accounts far better than the last week, which was just not good. So you can see also the profit factor is really, really good. So the, the performance may not look that fancy, but the key figures are actually really, really good. And it's because there are just 10 trades. But if it could go on somehow like this, I would be really happy because we don't have any time pressure here since FTMO changed the rules and we can just trade this for as long as we want. Also, let's have a look at the symbols. US uh, 30 is <laughs> generating most of the profits and yeah, the German index is not really doing that much. But um, yeah, it's probably because in this account, the range for US 30 is usually smaller, which means that it's kind of taking more uh, impact on the account. Maybe I should change this in the future, but yeah, for now, I think I will just go with this. And yeah, this was the small update. Uh, if you're wondering how I can trade multiple accounts at the same time, actually without sitting in front of the PC, it's because all of these programs are 100% automated. So I don't have to do anything. Usually I don't look at the charts and just check it um, yeah, in the evening. And then I will see if there was a profit or loss for the day. And uh, yeah, if you also want to learn how this is done, check out the link in the video description. And yeah, that's it for the feedback. I hope the structure was a little bit better today than in the previous video that I uploaded yesterday. And I think this is a structure that I can keep for the future. Um, for future videos, they will be shorter and shorter, I think, because I don't have to explain the strategy every single time. But yeah, I will do this in the first few videos and then the next videos will be just like, I think, three to six minutes long. So you just get a quick update. And um, yeah, I can still like document this journey 100% transparent because in my opinion, this is what the trading industry needs. Um, 
people who are really showing results in um, uh, yeah live pretty much and without any um, possibilities to fake something. And I was doing a lot of live streams actually before where everything everything was really live, like you could watch it in the in the moment. But yeah, right now from Thailand and the time shift it's not really suitable for me. But maybe in the future I will do this again. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this trading day. Have a great time, good trades, and see you in the next video. Bye.